was the was up air, which could actually hit you off Anvil from the side. Now though, we have a matchup Tim Prater incredibly familiar with. If here the Mewtwo from St. Louis, Missouri has to go up against Morley and Apollo Kage every single week. Here now against OU's Rob. A good snake in his own right, but those are two of the best that there are. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a really fun match, as of course there's not a lot of top-level Mewtwo play, but Tim Prater, one of those still keeping the character in the purview of Ultimate. And look at this, utilization of Shadow Ball to go ahead and keep these grenades out of play. And then of course the side B as well to switch it over to your side. Although right now, looking for a way to get that kill and love that frame trap. Yeah, the, the Mewtwo actually is so incredibly good at it just because of the floatiness, the yeah, damage so much. But the downside is because of how big your hurt box is, you get caught in that corner. You can't roll in, roll in, in or sorry, roll out. So that down smash covers every tech option and comes out just so fast. Now the frame drop looking for the ladder and Prater, they're getting caught in the initial dash, sending the tail up to catch you on the platform. Still able to find the F tilt though. Keep that pressure on and close out the stock. So keeping this one close. I like the grenade camping from up high. I, this is Rob approaching this matchup in much more the brawl style of Snake, not really using anger point th theory to lob grenades and play around the positions they end up. So this is a much more old school style of this character, very different than what Tim Prater is experienced against. Yeah, I will say though, Tim Prater has done a really good job of just securing different options to stop Rob from just trying to camp some of these platforms and ledges. Shadow Ball trying to get a little extra shot, but finds the Nair to go ahead and secure some damage. And look at that, the tail. It might be a little bit of a detriment for avoiding grenades, but it is a great tool in aggression. Yeah, I like the roll through. They're gonna find the up tilt to close it out. Once again, that tail just means there is no way you can escape when combined with Mewtwo's floatiness. I love the more technical instant Z catch layer. B reverse just create a floor under that platform. You have to force Mewtwo to jump in because of how floaty she is. Great frame trap there from Snake. But now Rob trying to find a way back. Great route back to stage as well. And now locking Prater down in the corner. He has to just charge the Shadow Ball, but that allows you to keep Snake in shield and get free stage presence as a result. Yeah, and you know what, Tim Prater has also been utilizing that Shadow Claw, the forward air, to try to lock down Rob's ability to get on through. That being said, you know, finds his way to go ahead and take some time, gets caught by the Shadow Ball though, and that's going to make it so this is nice and even for Tim Prater. Still got a really good shot, but these grenades have been doing so much damage, Ritual. And Prater there, oh, going for one of Mewtwo's best movement options, right? That grounded teleport across the platform, and it'll either, it'll either edge cancel like Palutena does, or or because it was buffed so many times with its grounded end lag, you actually can teleport behind people with the day one fairly safely, but not gonna look for the down throw tech chase there. Instead, just the Nikita. So gonna give Prater an opportunity to get back to stage here in the last lock, looking for the confusion, really putting it all on black. The Nikita cancel not gonna do it. And now you're just one tech chase away, but the air is getting put in the Dude. air. Dude. Getting put in the air. This is an interaction <laughs> we just saw on Twitter a couple days ago, going viral as Young Link. And four tilt one, when the opponent is is aerial, does not true combo into F tilt two. There, Prater was just put a little too far away, and because of the hurt box shift, you have to delay that F tilt two slightly, and it will still be true. Doing it instantly because of Mewtwo, because of Young Link, and a couple other characters, an instant. Four tilt won't confirm. Oh, look but in those eyes. And he knows, right? That was calculated risk by Prater because he knows that that's not going to true combo there. And he knows that Rob does not know that. Mm -hmm. I love just the confidence in his eyes, too, of like, yeah, I got that dog. It might have been a little, uh, little close, but it's mine. And that's mine. a handsome compliment, man, right there. It is, it is. Tim Prater coming on through with the Mewtwo, showing that this character, you know, might be slept on a little bit. And now look at this. Quick little damage output, and instead of trying to secure a extra greedy combo, just goes back for stage control. And I want to point out these grenades getting Z-dropped constantly, right? The shield lanes put on stage here by Rob. Not only do they control space, not only do they force the jumps out, but they block these grounded shadow balls, right? That's why you see Prater doing so many short hop flop shadow balls so that they get over these grenades. One of the things Rob can do is Z-drop them on reaction as well if he's holding one, and you can actually block it frame one off the drop up from behind and then find the punish with no hit lag. Uh, it's an absolutely absurd projectile counter from Snake that still just hasn't been implemented yet. And now, as you said, those Shadow Ball short hops able to secure enough space to find the kill with that F tilt. 
and that tail, brutal clubbing weapon, and now Shadow Claw to secure a little bit of damage, but Rob playing patient in that tech scenario to avoid the grab. Yeah, I love the slight delay there. As you mentioned, avoiding that grab, Praetor had the option right, but just wasn't ready for the timing mix up. The back air now, that move comes out so fast, ass so safe, allows you to pick up the grenade and cover space fully safe, mm -hmm. but Rob just ping-ponging you back between right and left side. Uh, racking up the damage now, Praetor just trying to find a way in, but as we've seen with Mewtwo's combo potential, all it takes is that one hit for Praetor to find the stock. Dude, I love how often we're seeing this side B come to play because all of a sudden it takes this grenade uh, hitbox that normally is a little bit smaller for whoever owns the grenade and switches it on its head against Snake. I'm looking here, okay, Praetor now trying to still again find a way in, but that C4 going to allow you to retreat back to ledge. Edge, the faint, you can mix up the down air one, but Praetor getting caught in the shadow ball. That startup means forward tilt, or up tilt, sorry, one of the mm -hmm. fastest button kill options in the game is going to close it out. And now Rob finding a solid lead. This would be a seeded upset if it happens, and Rob potentially able to even it up 1 1 here. Dude, but right as you say that, Tim Praetor coming on through and takes him off the top, hunting him like an absolute animal and now just trying to lock down Rob but you know what finds the way out with that down tilt low kick yeah and that down tilt was so smart because Praetor they're expecting you to look for a fastball neutral air there find a narrow one what which leads into up tilt one of snake's best kill confirms but instead by Rob kind of just doing the empty hop to find the pressure unfortunately we're gonna put in ledge that down tilt could be death into a shadow claw as you we were talking about before Yin Praetor is looking to rack on the pressure now here and crazy options right here. The down smash just understanding that, hey, he's feeling a little antsy. He wants to force me into this kill scenario, and I'm going to use that to advantage. And not only the kill scenario, but I don't know if you caught it in game one. The second Praetor got to kill percent last dot, mm -hmm. we saw Rob just go, hey, I'm going to try and grab you. Oh, I didn't get the kill option? Oh, I'm going to grab you. Oh, I didn't get the kill option, I'm gonna grab you. But it was only he last stock he did it. Game two, he he looked for it, he didn't find it, he found everything else with up tilt, so he went away from grab across the game, but then he start but then that was an initial dash in. There is no reason there as Snake, you're looking for that initial mm -hmm. dash, unlucky unless you're looking for initial dash and to grab there. Er, so Praetor, even though Rob hadn't shown it the whole game, read him on that option because of that stock one download. Thinking about it, that was every single stock game one too. Mm -hmm. We saw the down throw into the down smash, the down throw into up tilt, and that's how he tried to get that kill where he lost game one was down throw into F tilt, but it just didn't pay off. And now Tim Prater up 2-0 and ready to go. Already starting off nice quick little tail whip and just locking Rob down to the side. I love how Tim Prater though, being willing to just back up Give a little stage control to Rob and make him feel more comfortable. That way he gets that whiff punish. I like that grenade pressure idea, but one of the things that I feel like Rob has kind of got caught up in is playing around his own grenade trickery rather mm -hmm. than utilizing grenades to lean you around platform. You two being floaty means that a lot of these jumps that you can force out as Snake are incredibly committal. And doing that here in combination with platform can force Mewtwo into really bad positions against Snake. Yeah, and oh, look at that. The jump over understanding that, you know, that's a pretty common uh, whiff punish there for Rob to go ahead and go for that C4, but catches the dash attack, and now you're catching that stock. And Rob, that whole situation from Rob, excellent as well, because it's exactly what I was talking about, right? It's using your setup tools to play around that platform, and because of Mewtwo's floatiness, whereas another character might be able to get down and get out, he can't. Praetor picking up the up smash though to keep this one close, and this has been really one of the stories. Rob will find a stock, but then just hasn't really been able to get the setup up, just keeps going in after finding a lead, and then it runs right back. Unfortunate air dodge now to go down to potentially your last taco winner side here. And that's a scary place to be because there are plenty of the Midwest killers down in losers, so gotta be able to secure something, but Tim Prater just not letting Rob breathe for a second. Now, uh, up till in the, the confusion, just not able to forget find it. it. Now the up smash spam. We haven't seen this come out, but that's exactly why, again, Confusion just so incredibly strong at just warping that back where it came from. Could have gone into forward air, but just didn't look right. Prater now looking for the roll read and finds it. This is now got to get in Rob's head, and the miss second to the Oh my god! Are you kidding me? <laughs> what? <laughs> Bro. Bro was seeking blood there. Look at him. He's so confident.
I love some Mewtwo. Tim Prater showing up and showing mm -hmm. out. There's a reason why you can't be sleeping on the character. There are three people who play this character in North America, it feels like. There is Prater, there is Goblin, right, who mm -hmm. co does co-main this character, and there's Remorant up in Montreal, who is actually uh, playing in a Battle of ZX Mad this weekend, uh, which is a fantastic event up there as well. Oh, confusion there, breaking you off the early air dodges for so already dead. This forward air... Air saving it all the way through, through <laughs> but it doesn't matter, right? Prater putting you in the checkmate position, and where even if the panic air dodge doesn't come out there, that's gonna be all she wrote, and just snake down there, you know, making sure that he at least he at least gets to poke his head back up on yeah. screen to say goodbye. He he wanted you to see the finale instead of just this sad little air mm -hmm. dodge at the end. Tim Prater sending a message for anybody who's gonna be fighting him in bracket later. But if we're going to talk about somebody sending messages of fear for the bracket later, there's probably none other that is going to tell you to fear them more in the